Welcome to Toy Poloi. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Poloi. Today we're going to take a look at the tanker bug from Starship Troopers produced by Galoob in 1996. Now this tanker bug is part of the vehicle slash bug sets that they released. These were box sets that uh, came with larger bugs than the normal uh, ones that you got carded. If you look here this is a carded one. Uh, the figures are the same size but the bugs are considerably bigger. If you look here we have a warrior bug on the side. This was one of the carded ones and you can see it's a much larger figure. Now these uh, figures are part of the sort of action filly line that Galoo produced for the movie. Uh, they didn't do particularly well. These are not the best of figures, but they are still quite nice and they do have some great features. So let's take a look at this in uh, greater detail and I'll point out some of the good features that this uh, toy has. So straight out of the box you get the tanker bug itself and you get two of these small little action fleet figures as you can see here I have two of them. One of them is called Johnny Rico which is this guy here according to the box and the other one is just an MI trooper. Now when you buy the larger bugs like this you actually only got two of these little figures. If you bought these smaller versions you got three of these figures. Now I'm guessing Galoob this, did this because uh, the bugs have more features and probably cost more money to make but it's a bit of a shame that you only get two of these because really uh, you want to find Right, this bug with a lot of these little little men so uh, I have quite a few other ones so I'm going to put them around just so that it looks like he's actually fighting something a bit more more of an army so the bug itself is fairly simplistic in its sort of construction there's not a lot of uh, sort of posability you can move the front legs they just sort of rotate you can move the middle legs they sort of rotate again but they actually get caught up on the other legs if you look underneath so you can just about rotate the legs and really that's it for mobility there's nothing else that moves on it uh, it's made out of a hard plastic on the bottom of it you can see that there is a sort of uh, rubberized section I think in the movie uh, they destroy these bugs by sort of blowing up the bottom of them so I think that's uh, what that's for uh, but the main thing that this bug has is one cool feature and that is a projectile weapon that's well, at least slightly more than a projectile weapon so I'll just have to show you really if I press this button on the back the weapon will fire out as you can see there it's a missile it's on a piece of string and if you uh, then pump two little buttons on the side of uh, the bug I'm just have to hold this down it pulls it back into the mouth like so and it's reloaded again so that's quite a nice gimmick but there's more to it than that all of these little men and the bug themselves have magnets on them so if I take one of these uh, little men you can see on the bottom of it there's a magnet and on the back of the bug there is a magnet so you can sit this guy like he's riding the bug as he does in the movie now on the other creatures there are a few more uh, magnetic places on this one you sort of initially think oh that's a bit of a shame it's only got one uh, but actually there's one on the missile so what you're supposed to be able to do and this doesn't often work I'm going to place these men sort of at a distance here if you fire the missile into the men like that it should well it doesn't but it should let me do it by hand magnetize onto the bottom of one of the uh, characters so you can then pull him back and he gets eaten by the bug that's quite a nice little gimmick it's just it doesn't work particularly well. Let's, let's do it again. I'm going to knock all these men over so their magnets are sort of more randomly placed. And let's fire the missile into it. Nope, missed again. Should we try one more time? Might as well. One more time. Nope, didn't do it. So you can see it would be quite a nice feature if it actually worked, but it never seems to work. So it's just a little bit of a shame. I think maybe the magnet on the bug should have been made a little bit stronger and then maybe it would have uh, had enough strength to uh, stick onto the magnets on the bottom of these little men. There are a few of these uh, released in the set. I think there's six in total I've seen so far. There are a few bugs and a few vehicles. Uh, the bugs are the ones that I go for because obviously they're the main part of uh, sort of Starship Troopers that makes it uh, interesting. The bugs come in various sizes. This was a sort of medium size release, released in a box but there are smaller versions like the uh, smaller Warrior one I have here that was on a card. There are even smaller versions than that that were released as sort of a Micro Machines line and there is a bigger version of a couple of the bugs that are, that are available. These are quite nice toys and they're still pretty cheap to get. Uh, if you look on eBay people are listing carded versions of them for crazy money but if you are patient you can pick them up for nothing. This guy here I picked up very recently for two pounds off eBay and it came with all of these five figures although it should have only come with one so that's a pretty good deal. If you want them boxed you can they can cost more but you can still find them cheap if you persevere overall I do quite like this line of toys 
mainly because it does have some quite good gimmicky features. It's a shame that they didn't actually sort of make these a little bit better because they were just a little bit sort of sort of rubbish. But really, uh, a lot of Galoob's toys are like that. Galoob are very hit and miss when it comes to toys. Some are good, some are terrible. So I hope that's been of interest to you, and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Toy Poloi. Subscribe for more great videos. You can also follow Toy Poloi on Twitter and Facebook.